Hi, I was just in the middle of removing this CPU. Um, basically, I've removed this i9 CPU and it's for another video. I'm going to make an Apple uh, computer that Apple never made. Uh, it'll make more sense in the follow up video. But basically, I thought it'd be a great opportunity to do a video on the T2 chip. Uh, the T2 chip is particularly hard to take off because um, it's in two separate layers. And what happens is, when you heat up the layers, they separate. So I'm going to show you my method for doing it. I start removing the shielding around the chip. With this method, uh, you won't have to re-ball the top layer. So yeah, hopefully this video helps someone out. There's a number of reasons why you'd want to remove the T2 chip. Uh, it could either be the T2 chip's bad and you want to replace it, or it might be you want to transfer it to another board, because um, if you want to iCloud unlock a board, uh, you can remove the T2 chip and place it on another board, and it'll iCloud unlock that board. So yeah, there's a number of reasons why you'd want to do this. Uh, I'll start by putting a, a little blob of UV mask, uh, this is in the centre of the chip, but you do not want to touch the solder balls, this underneath. It's a slight blob in the middle, on one side. But you do not want the uh, UV mask to run onto the solder balls. You just want it in between the two layers. It's one blob in the middle. You don't want to go all the way across because you need to let the hot gases come out uh, between the layers. Otherwise you'll end up with uh, solder ball explosions. And this, uh, using the UV light, uh, we can harden it. So that should be gone off by now. So that's what it should look like. It should be like a little blob in the middle. Just on one side. And then you want to work your way around the four sides. It's a little blob in the middle. But you want to be really careful to not get it run down under the chip. You don't want it on the solder balls. And using the UV light, uh, we can harden the UV mask. It takes a little bit of time, but uh, once you've done it, and then working your way round, you want to do all four sides. This in the centre, uh, centre of all four sides. Because uh, these two layers, they're not like on the CPU, they actually separate. So when you heat up the chip, they become two separate layers. So if you slightly knock it or you, um, when removing, they separate very easily and then you have to reboil the two layers. So this method should save you having to reboil the chip, um, the middle layer. So yeah, uh, that's the full side. It's a tiny little blob. You want the blob to uh, cover the middle lay uh, the middle line where the two layers meet. And you want to work your way around all four sides. Just need a couple of seconds for that to harden up. As you can see, there's a blob in each centre of each side. And this will allow the chip to stay together as you remove it. And also, it will allow for hot gases to be released. So you won't, it won't become a sealed, chip, uh, sealed two layers, if you know what I mean. It will still have breathing space. Yeah, because if you sealed all four sides completely, uh, the hot gases would have nowhere to escape, so yeah, so, so uh, at least with a uh, little blob in the middle, it holds the two layers together, but also allows these hot gases to be released as you heat it, because when you heat up a chip, uh, in the middle there'll be hot gases trying to escape, 
So this will allow for that and uh, also hold the chip together. So yeah, uh, this method should save you having to reball a T2 chip if you ever come across it and have to remove. So this is my method for doing it, I thought I'd share it. So uh, hopefully it helps someone out. Right, I'm going to remove the T2. Uh, if you're doing this uh, for removing iCloud, um, basically you have to make sure you have the right model or board. Uh, for the T2, but there is uh, different variations of the chip So uh, don't think like you can just take it off one and throw it on another. I mean it has to be uh, compatible uh, But yeah, you can remove the iCloud uh, with this method uh, iCloud unlocking is a bit of a grey area, I know, but uh, sometimes it's uh, for legitimate reasons why you'd want to remove the iCloud, like someone's forgotten the password, Apple won't help me or etc. But uh, this is, uh, with this chip you can remove the iCloud basically. Or you may come across a um, problem with the T2 and you need to replace it. But you need an iCloud unlocked one. So yeah, there could be various reasons why you'd want to change the chip. Right, so that's come off alright. And we check the size now for solder balls. As you can see, there's no solder balls on the edge. That blob in the middle has held the two layers together. And it's allowed for the hot gases to be released. Right, check all four sides. Yeah, but the T2 chip can be a nightmare. If the uh, layers separate, it turns into like quite a time-consuming job because you've got to reboil both layers. With this method, you only have to reboil the bottom. And these chips are quite expensive. If you had to buy this off AliExpress, it would probably cost you about 100 quid. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's another reason why you want to salvage these chips off uh, boards and that. But it is quite an expensive chip. Right, I'm going to re it now, so it's ready for the new board. Start by applying the paste, uh, 183 uh, Celsius uh, solder paste. Be careful when removing the uh, stencil, you don't um, pull it too quick because you can whip these pads quite easily. Just going to reflow them once I've reboiled. Give it a clean up. And there you have it. Uh, the little blob in the middle held the two layers together. Uh, no solder balls on the edges. Yeah, so with this method, uh, this is how you can safely remove the T2 and not have to reboil both layers. So yeah, I hope it helps someone out uh, who comes across this job in the future. You can, may want to use this method uh, to help you out. Or you may have a better method, I don't know. But this is my method for doing it and I thought I'd share it. Uh, thanks so much for watching, uh, like if you like the video, and also I've got a follow-up video with the CBU, um, yeah. Alright, thanks, bye.